could. I imagine I could write you out a seven-figure check, and you probably wouldn't cough up the information. But can you share your battle plan on the quarterback? Oh, yeah. I want to see you write a seven-figure check. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Monopoly money. Uh, I, I think, um, you know, I, I, I know where we're going to go. I'm not ditching it quite. we got a 2 o'clock staff today, and as we always do on Monday. We'll come up with our plan moving forward. And I, I will say this. I think uh, Kurt and Danny both last week knew um, that everything was kind of being watched and being monitored to extreme. Both of them, uh, Wednesday and Thursday in particular, uh, practiced extremely well. Um, obviously, whenever one of the guys with the ones, you know, he has a little bit of advantage. That's why I purposely went ones, one, twos, twos, just to kind of match up uh, our best against uh, offense and defense. Um, both of them, uh, you know, have, have their own set of skills, but I don't think the offense changes much when they're in there. Uh, I won't uh, name a starter, you know, publicly. Our kids will know Tuesday moving forward. Uh, we'll keep the quarterbacks off limits, kind of one of the things I've always done when we have a transition uh, at quarterbacks this week. But uh, it'll, it'll be fun. I think uh, our guys, you know, Kurt and Danny, I think both have kind of a special relationship just because I think the way Danny started off being a starter and, uh, you know, uh, Kurt being very disappointed in that and then Joel to hop in there. I think Danny and Kurt could kind of uh, spend some time together there on the sidelines as well as in practices. And, and now they know what's both in front of us. I think they both want Wisconsin to win. So. It's going to be interesting to see how, how it plans out. If we won't know for a while who you're going to go with that quarterback, can you just talk about the specific strengths of each of the guys? Yeah. Um, you know, I think uh, obviously Danny has started games already this year. He started three football games. Um, he's come in and a couple others. Uh, he's done so he brings experience in the system that we already have. Uh, I think Danny uh, um, understands, uh, you know, the, the dynamics of, of a football game, how you got to be able to convert on on third downs. I think he understands the importance of ball security now more than ever. Um, one thing that we uh, uh, continue to stress with him is just you know that every play matters, every down matters, whether it's getting rid of the football on a, on a sack situation or, or you know, uh, being able to make sure everything's right in the huddle before we leave it. I think Kurt, um, you know, just the perseverance and the battle that he's been through to get to where he is today, kids rally around him extremely well. Um, you know, he, he uh, uh, did a lot to get to where he is and, and Sometimes when you have that in somebody, it's very hard to deny them the opportunity to have success. So uh, they all bring, and you know, Kurt's a runner. Um, he's a guy that can you know, move the football around a little bit with his, with his arm and with his feet.